chapter on what has been related about the virtue of Al-Madina. Ali bin Abi Talib said, We departed with the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, until he was at Harra as suqiya which belonged to Sa'ad bin Abi Waqqas. So the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Bring me water for wudu. So he performed wudu. Then he faced the Qibla and said, O oh Allah, indeed Ibrahim was your servant and your Khalil, and he supplicated for blessings for the people of Mecca, and I am your servant and messenger, and I supplicate for the people of al Medina that you bless them in their mud and their sa'a, like you bless the people of Mecca, for each blessing let there be two blessings. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments Mud and sa'a are two measures. Blessings in their mud and sa'a means blessings in the things which are measured by them. The Prophet peace be upon him asked Allah to let one blessing be equal to two blessings. Ali bin Abi Talib and Abu Huraira narrated that the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, Whatever is between my house and my mimbar is a garden from the gardens of paradise. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments Here, the house means the house of Aisha. Mentioning it as a garden of the gardens of paradise means that it is a great blessing to worship at that place. Sitting at that place and remembering Allah with sincerity may be a source of getting paradise. Maybe Allah will convert that place into a garden on the day of judgment. The first meaning is accepted by most of the scholars. Abu Huraira narrated that the Prophet peace be upon him said, What is between my house and my minbar is a garden from the gardens of paradise. And with this chain, from the Prophet peace be upon him, that he said, One salah in the masjid of mine is better than one thousand prayers in any other masjid, except for al-masjid al-haram. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Ibn Umar narrated that the Prophet peace be upon him said, Whoever is able to die in al-Madinah, then let him die there, for I will intercede for those who die there. This hadith is graded hasan or good. Comments It means that the people should aspire to reside in al Medina. Usually, a person dies at that place where he resides, and people who die in al Medina will have the special intercession of the Prophet, peace be upon him, on the Day of Judgment. Ibn Umar said that a freed slave girl of his came to him and said, Times have become hard on me, and I want to go to al Iraq. He said, Why not to Asham, the land of the resurrection? Have patience, you foolish lady. I heard the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, say, Whoever endures its hardships and difficulties, then I will be a witness or an intercessor for him on the Day of Judgment. He said, There are narrations on the topic from Abu Sa'id, Sufyan bin Abu Zuhair, and Subay'a al-Aslami. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Footnote The statement, Whoever endures its hardships and difficulties, refers to al Medina. Comments it means that if a person has to bear hardships during his residence at Al-Medina, he should not think of leaving the city because the people of the city will have a special intercession of the Prophet, peace be upon him, on the Day of Judgment. Abu Huraira narrated that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, The last of the cities of Islam to be destroyed is Al-Medina. This hadith is graded da'if or weak. Comments It means that until the city of Al-Medina is no longer existent, and populated, Islam is there and its end is the end of Islam and end of the world. Jabir narrated that a Bedouin gave the pledge to the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him for Islam. Then he was afflicted by sickness in al Medina. So the Bedouin went to the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him and said, Take back my pledge. But the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him refused. Then the Bedouin left and came back and said, Take back my pledge. And he refused. Then the Bedouin left. Upon that, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, al Medina is but like bellows. It expels its filth and purifies its good. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments Before the conquest of Mecca, those who embraced Islam had to immigrate to al Medina. The Bedouin became sick and he wanted to leave al Medina and live somewhere else. But the Prophet, peace be upon him, did not allow him. He left al Medina without permission. Therefore, the Prophet, peace be upon him, stated that al Medina discloses the real nature of a person. Allah has given a unique feature to al Medina that people of bad nature cannot reside there for a long period. 
it throws them out of its territory. Sa'id bin al-Musayyab narrated that Abu Huraira used to say, If I saw hyenas roaming in al-Madina, I would not advance upon them. Indeed, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Whatever is between its two lava tracks is sacred. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments In the east and west of al-Madina, there are two rocky lava tracks. The stones of this place are called Labata and Harra. The plain in between these two lava tracks is sacred. Hunting and cutting of trees is prohibited in this area. Anas bin Malik narrated that Mount Uhud appeared to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. So he said, This mountain loves us and we love it. O oh Allah, indeed Ibrahim made Mecca sacred, and I make sacred whatever is between its, i.e. and Medina's, two lava tracks. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Comments This narration proves that even stones and hills, etc. have a kind of consciousness which is beyond our understanding. These things too develop an intimacy and liking for the things around them. Mecca became sacred due to the prayer of Ibrahim, peace be upon him. Similarly, al Medina became sacred with the prayer of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Jabir bin Abdullah narrated that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Indeed, Allah has revealed to me that whichever of these three places you go to will be the place of your immigration Al Medina, Bahrain, or Qin Nasreen. This hadith is graded ta'if or weak. Comments Regarding the issue of immigration, the Prophet, peace be upon him, had been given a choice to select one among the three places. But in the dream, he was suggested to select the place of date palms, and the Prophet, peace be upon him, selected Al Medina. Abu Huraira narrated that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, No one is patient with the difficulties and hardships of Al Medina except that I am an intercessor or a witness for him on the Day of Judgment. He said, There are narrations on this topic from Abu Sa'id, Sufyan bin Abi Zuhair, and Subay'a al Aslami. This hadith is graded Hassan Gharib or good but strange. Footnote Similar proceeded under hadith number 3918.